Hey everybody, welcome back to Alina of the Arena, where your eyes do not deceive you. We're on the Royal Floor, we're on Hellwalker 20, I hope. Can I see this anywhere? What difficulty I'm on? I need to put it on 20, I'm certain I've put it on 20. Uh, and we've got here with a combo build, basically. I said last time we've really just picked out cards from the... The best cards from other archetypes. I've got Combust, which I think is one of the best cards from the, the Fire archetype. We have Power Through, which I think is the best one from the Fatigue archetype. I've grabbed, uh, where, where else? We've got Fortify, which is a good, pretty good block archetype. I've got Shield Charge, there you are. Again, from the block archetype. And we can just move around, build up combos, and break some with combo finish. That is the game plan. We have the Rap Charm, which means I'm reduced gold earned, but I get one energy each turn. That's pretty good. We've just picked up this Berserker Bracer, which works very nicely with Combust. And I've got Protective Ward leveled up, therefore I can heal back the damage I've taken from Combust. So we can scale our strength pretty nicely. It's a shame that my HP is only at 50, but the reason it's 50 is we traded 10 HP for an additional draw, which is great for the combo build. Then we have Alchemy, because this is a no-block zone, apparently, and Assassin's Bracer, which gives me Razor Shard and one sapped. But the bleed really adds up with the combo build. Anyway, let's go for fights. Okay, you're hitting me, you're hitting me. You're hitting all the titles, apparently. Is this going to be an early protective ward? It might be. Hmm. I could also just lunge away. But that feels like he doesn't really move the board state in any way, shape, or form. I guess they throw a trap as well. But even if I protective ward and move, I'm still taking a lot of damage here. I'm just gonna move away. I keep my focus and I'll put a trap here. Oh, I forgot you were hitting your friend. Huh. Okay, I think you're gonna heal off this, right? Is that what you do? I don't remember. Okay, let's interrupt this guy and just start going to town on him. I might even fortify it. Take three. Sure. I will use the other things in hopefully better situations. We can heal off this three damage anyway. And it gives me strength. I forgot about that. That's really why we should have made that play. Boo -doo -boo -boo. Okay, you're attacking every single tile again. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Uh, I can knock you back. This is pretty useful here, honestly. Okay. Move back. Equip the bow. Hold on to this rock. I'll improvise you. Done a great draw. Reload. I'll push you away. You're now hitting your friend for 49. And I think I'm going to combust myself. So again, power up. Oh my god, you nearly hit your friend into me. That was nearly a colossal misplay. Oh, this guy's immobilized. He went into my trap. We do more damage on the mobilized enemies, right? Yes. So you know what? I think I can kill you. Run and gun. I forgot we have to reload. Please don't have misplayed. This will reload me. Leverage. Remove the fatigue. And... I don't think I want to take any more burn damage now. I think we're good versus one target. So I'm going to grappling hook away. <laughs> Just give me another card draw. Nice. Okay, so you heal a little bit back up again. Fair enough. Okay, we've drawn the protective ward this time. So you know what? I'm just going to shuffle away. That changes things slightly. Actually, it changes things not at all. Uh, 
or does it? Uh, it does in a certain sense. I think I'm willing to stand next to you now. Right, more Hadoukens. <laughs> uh, again, I'm lucky to draw this hand. Pretty heavy hand right now. So hang on a minute. Lunge is 15. That will leave you on 28. Cripple. Combo finish kills you. I think I've got lethal. I, I definitely have lethal. I don't think we grab fast metabolism. This is one of the other good states of the effect builds, but really, I don't think the point of my run right now is the state of effect build, really. I think if I had an option to not have taken this, I wouldn't take power through anymore. I think I just use it to remove state of effects that just innately go into my deck. Otherwise, it's a bit of a dead card. So I don't think I build around it anymore. I've also got rid of the meme hammer, and I think that was the best status effect giving weapon no pain no gain has some use it self inflicts damage prox berserker bracer if i could upgrade it then maybe but i want to be super careful with the self inflicted damage i think i'm okay with one combust I do not heal very well. I think we skip. And I'll take a dagger over a rock. Okay, at the meditate. Is there another meditate left on my map? Yes, of course there is. Where's my other rest? Holy shit. Really? Really? Okay, we're, we're gonna work down the column then. I wanna save my meditate just in case a bad event happens that I have to remove a card. But they're not in great places for me. Speaking of being not in great places, I'm not thrilled by this start. I can mind die out of it, really, and interrupt the other one. So I think this is the game plan. We move here. You're not spiky, right? You're not. So actually, I could shield charge you. Run and gun? I should have run and gun first. That's a miss. No, it wasn't a misplay. I wouldn't have had the energy. Run and gun. I'll interrupt you. And now I'm not taking any damage. Irrespective, though, I think... Actually, I combust. Oh, I should have just combusted then. Okay, this play wasn't good. I should have talked the turn through first. I could have saved the throw dirt. Okay, let me throw a rock at you to set the combo up. There's a combo finisher coming in your future, just letting you know. I'll hurl another weapon at you. Just so I don't ever accidentally pick up the Uchi Katana again, I'm going to throw the Uchi Katana at you as well. Goodbye, Uchi Katana. Okay. So what am I drawing into? Most of my deck. Well, really, the only card I would want right now is Jump Attack. So I think I move to here, because I have to interrupt you at some point. Improvise. Okay, we've made the correct play. Strike, you're dead to combo finisher now. And I guess just save everything else. Oh, doesn't matter, I'll pick you up in a moment. Right, more dust for the Dust Lord. Uh, flaming Weapon is really hard to set up, right? That's kind of its gist, its deal. Okay, move here. I can set it up if I throw the dust at you, but I don't super feel the need to. Actually, I probably will throw dust at you still, because I don't block all the damage unless I parry fortify. But I would like to set the Dempsey roll up. So I'm actually going to throw the dust. But not Flaming Weapon. 
which means I will parry for energy efficiency. Okay, we're looking for 32 damage. Jump attack would do that. So will Cripple Leverage. Problem with Cripple Re Leverage, it leaves me next to an enemy. So I think I just move here. Okay. Not what I was asked for the draw. I'll Cripple you. And I'll strike you. And I'll simply put, we just want to kill you and heal. Move. Gives me lunge. Eh. Uh, I could lunge combust. And heal off the burn. Sure. Sure. Okay, this is kind of spicy. Do I get a combo if I do zero damage? I do. I did not know that. Combo finish this guy for almost all his HP. Then we do this. Protective Ward will come back round again before I finish this battle, I'm certain. Now I just need to do 8 to you. Which is easy enough. Uh, I could parry the other guy as well. That's probably good enough. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not good enough. I take it back. We'll go over here and play safe. Kill him. And take another damage. Okay, we're just going to waste time now. Until we're ready. I should really remove the fatigue as well, but it doesn't really matter anymore. You're obviously at the bottom of my deck again. Why wouldn't you be? Move. I still can't flaming weapon. That's pretty funny. Let me just make sure you'll die. At some point in the future. Here we go. Protective Ward heals me. And Leverage kills him. That is the combo. The Berserker combo. Do I want another Leverage? I think that is too much. Battle Stance is kind of interesting. But I think I skip. I have enough movement options. And I'll sell the rock. Okay, let's see what this event gives me. Actually, we might not do this event, to be fair. So I might be able to blow my meditates after this. Uh, a crazed fan wants to love me. Uh, I say no. I'll just take five damage. I do not want you to add a random card to my deck. Because you could add some real garbage to my deck, which would ruin it. I don't want you to remove one, because I know you'll remove combo finisher. It's like 100% certain. Now, you might be saying it's a 1 in 25. Absolutely not. It's it's certainty. It's 100%. There's nothing more certain in this world than he would have removed combo finisher. Like, I would take my chances, you know, throwing stones over the edge of a bridge that one of them might just float up into the air and defy gravity. I think that is how certain it was. I, I'd bet on the, the anti-grav. Okay. So now my meditate, I'm pretty happy to just toss cards away, which is great. Let's remove some strikes from blue now. I think I shop for items because I'm happy with my weapon now. So I will upgrade it. And I think I just want stats on it. The Ichimonji power move is not that good. I've not really got a focus entry to build. It's just helping along a little bit. The recurve bow is a slight shout, but it doesn't really help me against the demon, so I think I just want pure, unadulterated damage. 
And I think we're at the point now where the recurve bow will stay with me till the end, so I'll upgrade you as well. A little bit more damage. It's kind of weird. I normally build around the power moves of weapons, but I really haven't this time. Just not a weapon. Like, only one weapon has shown up that has a good power move. And that was the meme hammer last episode. Okay, it's Cage Bushin guy. I want to get an explosive turn off if I can. Actually, we could do some stuff here. We'll see. Lunge. Shield charge. Can I interrupt this? I don't think you can, can you? No, you can. I can't because I haven't got the, the means to do so. <laughs> Is this a damning diamond of flaming weapons? I, I'm considering powering through instead. I don't think it can be right. I think the flaming weapons is fine. Actually, I don't know if it is. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Otherwise, I'm just never gonna play that card. And I'll remove a fatigue. Okay, I'm pretty happy now we have this big weapon. You know, launch at people when I need to. Okay, you're doing a bunch of damagios. Who do I think it is? Let's play the game. You can play along with me. I think it's this guy. I think this is the real one. He's the real deal. So I can move here. At the very least, he shoots his friend if I move. We can Dempsey roll to get that set up. The compound crossbow is unnecessary. I'm going all in, baby. It's you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am I'm just a humble psych... Hang on a minute, I'm taking 30 damage. <laughs> uh, that's slightly awkward. Yeah, he still hurts you, I forgot. Okay, this is why we have heals. If I move, he gets shot. Okay, let's cool off for a moment. I'll just, you know, I'll pop a little heal. He shoots his friend for nice damage. Okay, this is a lot of people. I think it's the guy at the bottom this time, but be smart about it this time. Okay, if we move here and combust... I take zero damage from anyone nearby. You're shooting me too, right? Hmm. What if I just combust where I am? I get a bunch of stuns off. I knock you back. If one of them pops, I can jump attack. I actually think the safer play right now is to do this and have the cleave as an option. Oh, they don't pop when they get stunned. Interesting. Well, this lets me put up a huge amount of block and I can just cleave through them all now. I found the real one again. Okay, we should be fine now. I did so much damage there. That region is possibly, you know, life-saving as well. And he's stunned, so he can't move. If I move here, I can leverage at the end of the turn to get away, if I need to. Move. Strike. Leverage. I have lethal. It's fine. Because I can jump attack him again. And this ends the fight. Okay, this was not clean. This was a really bad round, but I might be able to get out of this not punished. No, we don't take that. We don't take that. We don't take this either. 
We don't take that. I think we take Slam. Slam is good enough. I like movement. Okay, we have to take the Refreshing Tonic. And I think we sell the other stuff. That was our one mistake for the run. Now, do I be a greedy little boy? Because this is 6 plus 5. I can never remember the, the, the maths for this. It's 21 health, right? So this would double my health back to 42. Are the two cards in my deck, if I upgrade them, that I feel like it changes the game for me? Kind of. I think I would like to upgrade Flaming Weapons and Power Through. <laughs> this is really risky. Really, really risky. Actually, Giga Risky. Because I have to fight another Elite this way as well. Oh. Okay, I... Th <laughs> Ooh. This is a tough decision. This is actually really tough. Do I just accept that power through or flaming weapons will be a dead card for the majority of the battle? Because that's what's going to happen if I don't upgrade them. We down the potion immediately. We get another heal as well with magic shield, so I could end this fight on 48 health. Which is basically full HP. And I think we start chopping immediately. I combo finish you. I think I'm fine slamming you, honestly, just to kill you. That doesn't bother me that much. Oh my god, a health tonic as well? The game loves me. Admittedly, some guy's going to stand on it now, right? No, they were very nice. So I think we run and gun. Lunge. Yoink. Improvise. That's never going to be cast. Uh, the question is, do I want to leverage or throw dirt, I think? I think I leverage. I definitely leverage. Great draw. Dempsey roll. My, my combo's set up now. The important cards are set up. Okay, you're doing 32 damage. Excuse me. That's against the rules. Now, I can take some damage this battle as well. To proc the strength, which will help me beat the battle. So I think we do this. I combust. We take a little bit of damage. Now that I've got this health potion, I feel so much happier. I cripple you. I end Faze. Okay. Now we have some moving to do. Hello, by the way, Knuckle Dagger. I see you over there. You're massive. I can interrupt you, though. I'm just weakening everyone right now. Lunge. He dies if I shield charge him. Cripple. I have to remember to throw dirt, so I'm throwing dirt now. Strike him. You're dead. <laughs> I didn't need to do it. I could have killed them, but they were going to die anyway. I guess I could have jump attacked away. I heal off the regen, I take a little bit more damage. Release your power, my dear children. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I think that the Knuckle Dagger has come too late in the, the game for me. I would have had to have upgraded its stats and it's not going to happen anymore. 
So I think we keep with Ichimonji. Fortify will give me enough block that I can just stay here. I've also drawn into leverage. So Chunk, you're actually just dead. Didn't even need the block. Just burnt a card for no reason. Okay, so we're going to heal for two. 39, take one. So I think we're going to be at 39 health at the end of this. Plus the six I heal. So I think I'm going to be at 45. I will Protective Ward. Do I have Regen left? Okay, I think I did this wrong. I think we're actually fine for another turn. I, uh, we're going to end on 46, I think. Uh, if I parry you, I take no damage, irrespective of what happens. So you know what? Let's shuffle here. So I'm next to you. I'll parry. And you're just doing 22. Just check in. I'll hit you. Where do you think you're going, by the way? Because you're not getting out of here alive. Uh, let me just casually accidentally kill you before my combo finisher even goes off. Wonderful. I don't think swing is the answer. I know knockback is pretty good. It's not good against the demon. It's not great against uh, Sir Knight or whatever he's called. I think it's too late. It's something I probably would have taken early, but not now. And again, Knuckle Dagger, I think we just sell you. You're a worse throwable than the Longsword. And Ichimonji is basically covering your base now. Okay, I think we do an upgrade here. I think I'm going to put Flaming Weapons on first. Even though it's like one and done. It's kind of that reason why I want to do it. Because if I pay the discount once, I'll never have to do it again. Whereas, I think we're not... Even at one, I don't think I play... Where are you? Power through more than maybe like one or two times. So I think it's pretty similar. But the flaming weapons will offer me more, basically. I'll keep the other rest. I'll meditate and forget something. Which is going to be a blue strike. I could forget it, honestly. The power through. <laughs> it is a pretty good option, honestly. But I do have a few things that add statuses to my deck. It would let me scale by some means. So I'm going to remove the strike. Also, now that I've removed the strike, I think I'd be willing to add one more attack card to this deck. And I'm going to work up this right column now. Okay, you're pretty spicy. You want to grapple me first and then, you know, hold me tight and love me? And I don't respect that. So, I think what we do is equip the bow. I sh Hang on, this doesn't, doesn't work. I want to equip the bow for a second. What I was going to do was move... Sorry, attack with strike. I could throw the, the, the longsword. Because then I can strike with lunge, which lets me refresh. I could flaming weapons and then throw dirt and interrupt you. I could also knock back on the lunge. No, that doesn't really help me. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this line just to get the flaming weapon on. So I'll shoot you. A flaming weapon. I throw dirt in your face. And I think I put the mind's eye on this time.
And we're just trying to hold it as long as is humanly possible. I think I 100% push you against the wall. I run and gun. I stun you with a cripple. I really shouldn't have had the bow equipped. Ah, I had to have the bow equipped. Sorry, I take it back. But now I think we have this equipped. And just that smacking you. Jump attack in. Bonk. 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 And Giga Bonk. Okay, he's not happy. I'm tougher than you expected. Yeah, no shit. So this is uninterruptible because of the gold ring. Okay, re-equip the bow. Move. I think I'll take a Dempsey roll this time. Ooh, not yet though. Throw the dagger at him. Lunge, which refunds me. Then we Dempsey roll. Now we get more benefits for moving. I shoot you. I reload. I leverage and reload because I leveraged. Uh, I kind of want a protective ward. Oh, actually, I've run out of mana, haven't I? And he dies. Okay, that's fine. Getting out of an elite like that is good. I think one more trick is never bad, so I'll grab it. The Searing Ashes are pretty good for an interrupt. I think I'll keep the health potion. I'm valuing this health potion a little bit too much, though. And then, do I want cards this time or items? I think I want cards. I tell you what, if I could afford Echo, I would have taken it. It could have been really good for me. It would have let me reapply another uh, power move, like run and gun. That could be great to get another one of. Dempsey roll would be pretty good. Or in that clutch situation, I could get back a protective ward for health and like, you know, save me getting hit. I could have got throw dirt, a slam for move. It would have been incredible. But there's no way I afford it, right? I'd have to just sell you. Yeah, eight. And you're six. Okay. It's basically just a bust. I don't think I grab Warcry. I think it's too late for Entertainer. I think Repel is bad here, and I think Best Defense is just bad in general. Okay, this is the last fight we have to do. Let me equip Ichimonji again to start the battle so I gain some focus, and we'll go into here. Okay, this battle's not too bad. If I just chunk through his armor, that is the game plan. Let's do some setting up first. If we can kill the archer very quickly as well, I'd be fairly happy with that. So, let's do it. Let's start firing. Do a little bit of damage, remove the combust, and reload with this. Now we're looking for an interrupt, which I already have in my hand anyway. Or just move away. Or kill him. Is this interruptible? It is. Uh, okay, I'm going to go about this route instead and save my ashes. Give me the bow. Jump attack away and reload with fortify. And then I'm just going to ping you from a distance. Just work some of this armor off. Get a few burn stacks on you. Okay, and, and now we come back and attack you. Move here, run and gun. Slam him. Strike him. There's more ashes on the floor now, or dust. 
So I'm pretty content to interrupt him and go on him. 43 damage. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, let's shuffle around this side just for safety. Get interrupted. And as I said, we're just going to town on him. Cripple him. Strike him. He's got 19 stacks of burning. It's kind of crazy. And let's hope the combo finisher can help me. I can interrupt this as well. I probably will do. Yeah, let's interrupt this. Uninterruptible, I forgot. Okay, let's just break him then. That works for me as well. I'll play the fatigue. And now he's acting as a shield for me. What a what a swell guy. Okay, move back. This is the Oki Koki. You put your left leg in. You take your left leg out. In. Okay, we have no more out though. <laughs> We're just going to shake it all about, if you don't mind. Oh, he's dead already. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, I killed you too fast. Can you come back, please? So I can finish my song. Uh, lunch is coming up, but it doesn't help me. Oh. You, you hate to waste the combo. Oh, well. Alright, he's going to get me this time. Uh... Eh, serious doubt. <laughs> I say as I start choking on my own saliva. Does anyone else do that? Just suddenly start choking on your own saliva. You suddenly forget how to swallow for some reason. I know, giggity. Uh, I don't want to kill you immediately. Because I would like to gain some health. Oh, you're no longer burning... There we go. Now I can kill you. Just in case some miracle happens, I'll do that. And we don't need this. Oh yeah, he pops. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my words. Do I? Okay, the one problem is I will have to throw away my ranged weapon doing this at some point. But I think this is just too good. I think I'll grab Dust then for an interrupt. Actually, do I care about that? I think I'd rather have combo. I have enough interrupt in my deck. I'm actually considering selling the health potion as well. I'm just yeeting shit at the guy. I think this might be the play. And we run something like this? This is crazy. But I think it might just be right. Also, we've got the demon ready now. I think we don't take these fights. My deck is ready. There's nothing I can improve on. I can only take damage. At least that's my theory. That I don't think matters. Upgrading one more trick could be a shout now. <laughs> Instead of power through. But you know what? I keep promising it. Let's do it. Let's get power through up to a one cost. I might play it now. And let's just toss these away. Okay, does this give me any other effect? No. Proof of worthiness to challenge the demon of the arena. Fantastic. Okay, like always, we need some setting up time, if you don't mind. So let me do some setting up. Let's put flaming weapons on. And I'll keep the stone that I'm stood on. The dream is Arsenal combo finisher in my hand. Hello. <laughs> Do I just go for it? Can I do 900 damage this turn? <laughs> I need... 
I, I need a, you know, someone who with a PhD in maths. Can I do 900 damage this turn? Okay, so two. Three. Five. Nine. Eleven. Fifteen. It, it's too much. <laughs> I reach 50 and it's too much. Because I'm putting burns on as well. I think that then it goes to 21 with 6 bleed. And I've used no energy. But then my plays probably cripple. My combo would be at 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8... I could slam into him for nine. So my combo finish would be nine. Six times nine is 54. But I have a bunch of bleed stacks on him. He would be vulnerable. Okay, I'm going to take a different line. I don't think it's lethal. But I'm going to go with it anyway. But you have to go a roundabout route to do it another way. I'm going to have to use my slam to get behind him and then lunge to get back in close. And then I'm going to just eat everything. Honestly, the bow. Fantastic work. You've done wonders. This lets me put so much burn and bleed on him, it's crazy. So what was this doing? Yeah, it wouldn't have got a kill. It was 300 and something damage. I thought it was going to come up short. It would actually have been a bit more than that. He might have actually touched 400 because I would have got another combo on it. But I'm pretty happy we made that play. Right, he jumps back to the arena center. He has got an electrified weapon now. And he's doing his full moon slash. Is this interruptible? It is. We shall be throwing dirt in your face then. Run and gun me. Throw dirt. Now, one slightly annoying thing is that if I take damage here. It does help my, you know, Berserker, but I don't heal it between the fights, but I think we go for it still. I have to give this guy some, you know, respect. He's pretty strong. This is uninterruptible. Right. What's my last card? Strike. And I don't have any bows anymore. Okay. This changes some things. Just improvise on nothing. I need the card draw. Thank you for jump attack. We move again. Gives me fortify. My combo finish is not going to be particularly good right now. So I don't know if I want that. Do I want a combo finisher? It's doing 28. We can do better. Okay, this is interruptible though. Not if you don't join an interrupt. Okay. I tell you what, though. This could be big. Hit lunge. I dares you. A hit Dempsey roll. Okay. That happens. If we'd hit lunge, it would have been honestly fight winning because I could have removed the fatigues. This might be my mind's eye. Although my mind's eye really is the answer for the huge play. What's my last card? Parry. Uh, I can move out of it with shield charge. I'm not fond of how I'm playing this anymore. I think I'm going way too passive suddenly. Like the burn's almost gone. So is the bleed.
Okay, we have an interrupt this time. This is interruptible as well. Perfect. Walk into him. Shield charge him. Strike him. Throw dirt in his face. Power throw. Okay, this has to be the goad time. Lunge. Okay, move back. That lets you draw a card. Jump attack. We draw another card. It's all fatigues. Start throwing rocks at him. Strike him. What's my last card? Lunge. Break him. Perfect. <laughs> I think we set Mind's Eye. Oh, actually, do I set Mind's Eye up? Maybe I don't yet. Move back. Lunge. I have so many fatigues in my deck right now. It's crazy. Just keep smacking, Ilina. That's all you can do right now. Okay, he's electrified again. He's massive. This is interruptible. And by golly, I have the interrupt. Okay, move back. Jump attack. Honestly, I... Ooh, do I fortify here? Yeah, we do. We don't interrupt this. We fortify instead. And then I power through. I'm going to want more trick of fatigue to get even more strength. I, I played that badly, by the way. Oh, he still shocks you when he does blocked damage. Huh. I'm calling shenanigans on that. I don't think that should be how that works. Last card strike. Eh. <laughs> we play shock, I suppose. We draw the strike. What a surprise. Strike. Protective. Ow, that hurts. Gives me another shock as well. Okay, uninterruptible. I have to go in on you still. I'll take the shock damage. It is giving me strength at the very least. Now I'll remove it. Improvise. Not what you wanted to see. Okay, he's so low. We can do this. We just need to draw a deck back into Mind's Eye again. Or kill him. Cripple into parry is 42 block. And I can gain a bit more. Okay, I think this is the line. This potentially outputs the most damage I can do. It's actually 50 block. <laughs> I forgot about the bleeds. So we're going to get shocked still. I feel like if you block the damage, you shouldn't get shocked. But that's just me. Okay. I think we're going to be able to kill you. I think I have to go for it. I have to draw cards, so I have to move. Okay, parry basically changes everything. I'm definitely safe now. You can go away. That's all the block I need. I can break you as well. 
Let's break him. And I will kill you next turn. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it doesn't break him, I forgot of the will. I forgot how high difficulties it changes that effect. You can't break him again. You can only break him once. If I just... <sighs> that hurts. If I parried, we win. I mean, we beat him. And I think we had a good chance against the demon. I think we threw away a Hellwalker 20 victory. I can't believe we've done that. But I say wait, I've done that. I'm sorry, Bandit. Oops, I didn't mean that. Can I see the dude? You can't. I wish you could click on it and see his powers. I'm certain that when he... I, I've done this before. It, it's happened before as well, which is painful. It's not learning from my mistakes. If you break him once through his shield, he gets something called, like, Indomitable Will. Which means that if he loses block again, he doesn't get broken. And I think it only happens at, like, Hellwalker difficulty. Other than that, he doesn't. The last time I fought this guy was on my cursed Twitch stream. And I could break him multiple times, so I just forgot about it. I'm sorry. Well, that'll do for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> it helps me out. It, it makes me feel happy again inside. <laughs> but we, we can beat this mode now. I'm, I'm confident that we we have the recipe for success. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.